All right, welcome back to Matrix video 12. This one is on encryption and decoding secret messages. This will be somewhat multi-step and complex, so my advice, guys, take good notes. We'll pick up on Wednesday. Take good notes. Try your best to follow along. Again, when you watch the videos, you're supposed to be introduced to the topic, not become an expert, okay? But here we go. So first off, here's how coding works. All we gotta do, just assign every letter in the alphabet to a number. Let's do it very easily, right? A is one, B is two, C is three, keep going down. I didn't show the rest. If you wanna write it down and figure it out, you can. And at the end of the alphabet, here you go. X is 24, Y is 25, Z, 26 letters, 26. And a space is just gonna be zero. Think about it, you know, zero, nothing. So any type of space, gap between words, call it a zero. So for example, with the word math, Right, keep it nice and simple. Um, my numerical language would be 13, 1, 20, and 8. Right? Those four numbers will give me the word math. So here's how I can encrypt this into a secret message. So I take those four numbers, 13, 1, 20, and 8. And step one, I'm going to write this as 2 by 1, Oops, it's two by one matrices. So 13, 1, 28 will look like this. 13, 1, 20, and 8. So I've made two separate two by one matrices, but put them together. So make it a two by two. So 13, 1, 20, and 8. You may ask why we go this way, why we go up and down instead of left to right. Well, that's the style I'm going to do it for now. There's other ways to do it, but we're going to do it in this style in our class. Okay? So now I've got my message written down like this, M-A-T-H. Step two, we need a key. What's a key? In this case, a key is a two-by-two two matrix that I make up. Okay? Here's my key for this problem. It's going to be the matrix negative seven, five, three, negative two. This will be my key today. Why did I choose that? Well, look at it. The determinant is going to be negative 1. I made it kind of easy. That's why. So this is my key. It's going to lock the message. So go on to step 3. And again, please just take notes on this step by step, and it will make, maybe make more sense second or third time through where we do it again in class. So here we go. So third step, I'm going to take this key... I'm going to multiply that by the message we originally had in numbers to lock it up so you can't understand it. I'm going to basically encrypt it. So my key, so I'm going to multiply the key, my lock key, by the message, right, M-A-T-H. When I do this, and again, just do it with a calculator, multiply it together, here's what you get. I get this matrix, negative 86, negative 100, 37, and 44. This right here is my secret message. This is what I hand off to somebody in public. Because without this key, I have no idea what this means, right? This you can make sense of. 13 is M, 1 is A, you can figure it out and spell math. This right here is secret. I can't figure out what that is. So now I move on. So person 1 has this message and gives this message to the other person. So they get the secret message and the key. The key should be private, but this message can be public. The other person gets this message and this key, and they will use the inverse. They'll actually use the inverse of this key to unlock the message and put it back to what it should be. So that's step five. So step five, use the key's inverse to unlock. Just like the last video, the inverse and the regular matrix will cancel out and put the matrix back to normal. That's what this is doing. We're going to cancel out with the inverse and get back to the original message. So here is the key we got originally. I just have to find the inverse of that, which I can do by hand, or I can just save time and do it on my calculator. And when I do that, here is the unlock key. So the inverse of the original key. If you type it in, and find the inverse, you get this. 2, 5, 3, 7. 
So this is my unlock key. This will put the message back to where it should be. So this is the last step. Take the unlock key, multiply it by a secret message, and you're going to unscramble it. So, so again, I take the unlock key, multiply that by the secret message I got, this you know big number one. When I do this, and again, do it on your calculator or do it by hand, it's up to you, but you'll get back the original message, which in this case was 13, 1, 20, and 8, which, look at your letters in the alphabet, right? M, A, T, H. What does that spell? That spells math. So there's one example of how this encryption works. So, so something to keep in mind here, the key is going to be secret, the delivered message is going to be public, right? The person I give, I give the message to, only he or she should have the key, okay? Let's look at one more example and we'll be done. So again, I'm going to use the same key as before. Let's pretend that somebody gave me this key, or I already knew it, and then they gave me a message that looked like this. So these numbers are, you know, bigger than 26, right? They're not going to be letters in the alphabet. This has been scrambled up or locked up. I need to find the unlock key to unlock this message and figure out what it actually says. So again, the unlock key is just going to be the inverse of that one, right? The key's inverse is the unlock key. And we did this in the last example. It's just going to be 2, 5, 3, 7. So all I'm going to do is multiply this unlock key by my secret message I got. So use this unlock key to multiply it by the message you got, the secret message, you don't know what it is, and you'll get back the actual message, right? This unlock key will cancel out the other matrix. This one you can do on your own or just use your calculator because these numbers are very big. But when you do this though, here's what you get back is your answer. 19, 17, 21, 9, 4, and 0. So the unlock key unlocks the secret message, gives you the actual message, and if you look at the alphabet, this stands for these letters. And the zero is just going to be a space. right? I just had to make it even, so I put a space there. So that's the word squid. That's right, I went there. So that's the secret message, OK? So again, just take these notes. We'll go over this again in class. Do me a favor, everybody. Bring your questions, OK? Bring your questions. All right, guys, that's it for now. Peace out. Bye, y'all.